Welcome back to my channel. I am going to talk about stock of Siva, ticker symbol OBSV. The stock was trading at $3.50 when I set up to start this video and right now the stock is $4.06. The stock has uh, spiked 60% from yesterday. Stock was trading under $2 before a couple of days and there is a lot more traction from analysts. We received new analyst ratings, received a lot more interest from the investor groups that I'm going to share more details about are pretty close with one of their product and they're on target to launch that in 2021. There is a huge analyst rating and price target on this stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not a video about buying or selling stock. So I would highly recommend you do your own due diligence and research before you buy or sell any stocks. Once again, the penny stocks are pretty risky. There is risk versus reward. Do not invest your entire portfolio in penny stock. I would normally recommend investing less than 5% out of your total portfolio in penny stocks. Talk about what Opsiva does as a company. Opsiva is a pretty small company. Their market cap is 207 million. Day range of the stock is $3.40 to $4.25. 52 week range is $1.63 to $6.30. Relatively, the stock is in the middle if you think about the price for last uh, 52 weeks. Not that it's relevant, but wanted to just share that it's not, wasn't trading below a dollar or anything at this point. It's still a penny stock. Previous close was $2.52. The company is pretty small. Their market cap is $207 million. Their burn rate on cash is pretty high. Their net income is negative $24 million for Q3. Same for Q4. Q2 2020, their net income was negative 18 million. For Q1, negative 21 million. For Q4, negative 20 million. And they do not have any huge revenue because they are pre market. Cash on hand is 50 million. So it, they have pretty good amount of cash. They have a good amount of cash, but their burn rate is high. Keep in mind that the company can announce direct offering or public share offering. But having said that, there is a huge analyst rating. Let's talk about what the company does. The Opsiva is an innovative women's reproductive health therapeutics company. Opsiva is a biopharma company developing and commercializing novel therapy to improve women's reproductive health and pregnancy. Through strategic in licensing and discipline drug development, Opsiva has established a late stage clinical pipeline with development program focused on treating, treating endometriosis, uterine, fibroids, and preterm labor. Opsiva is listed on the NASDAQ global select market and it is trading under ticker symbol OB. SV. They have three products in their pipeline right now. Yazalti is in their phase three and their next milestone is to do NDA submission, regional commercialization partnership and MMA for uterine fibroids that is expected in Q2 2021 and there is some updates that I'm going to share with you. They have two more products but they are in phase one so I'm not going to talk about them. This is the major product that they are trying to launch and market in 2021. There is a lot of momentum from investors Several large investors have recently made changes to their position in OBSV. California Public Employees Retirement System purchased a new stake in Opsiva in second quarter with $401,000. Redbush Securities Inc. lifted its holding in shares of Opsiva by 19.5% during the third quarter. I think this is a pretty big holding uh, in terms of Redbush's uh, holdings. Uh, Webbush Securities Inc. now owns 179 thousand shares of the company stock valued at 444,000 after purchasing additional 29,000 shares during last quarter. In addition, Zurich Cantonal Bank increased its position in the shares of Opsiva by 32.1% during the third quarter. They now own 255 thousand shares of company stock valued at 635,000 after acquiring 62,000 shares in the last quarter. There is a lot more momentum from the investor groups. Some of the groups, they, uh, they, they're offering the retirement system, uh, retirement portfolio systems as well. Analysts are pre pretty bullish on this company. In January, this rating were recently released where the rating, uh, two analysts are recommending a strong buy, where three analysts are recommending a buy for the stock. Their product roadmap is moving on pretty quickly, are focusing a lot more on marketing and launching the product uh, uh, very soon. 
in addition, I also looked at the deep rank uh, ratings. There are two analysts who are suggesting a buy and there's one analyst suggesting sell. However, the, the analysts that are suggesting buy on deep ranks, their target price is above $22. And the one year target here is uh, $11.67. Now the stock is trading uh, at three to $4 range. If things work out, the stock can be double or triple in 2021. If we are not targeting for moonshot target of $22, the analysts are pretty bullish on this on this stock. Opsi, there is an update that was announced on 11 January. They provided an update on Yazulti clinical development program where they're in phase three. Study for the product for treatment of endometriosis is progressing as planned and primary endpoint for readout is expected in Q4 2021, which is their expected roadmap. Opsiba announces additional phase three for their product study results confirming their sustained efficacy and continued safety of the treatment of the uterus fibroids. They also provided an update on their clinical program for YZLT, which got a lot of attention from the analysts uh, as well as from retail investors and investor groups. Uh, what does that mean is they provided the validation of marketing authorization application for the treatment uterus fibroids. The marketing authorization application MMA is an application for the approval submitted to European Medicine Agency EMA and it is a critical step in marketing a product in the EU region. Validation marks the beginning of the review period. The product that they have uterine fibroids indication is based on the data from the phase three that they already conducted and rolling 574 women with uterine fibroids. In prime rows 2 conducted in Europe and US, they enrolled 535 women with the uterine fibroids. In both the studies, the patients with heavy menstrual bleeding associated with the uterine fibroids were administered the doses of 100 mg and 200 mg with and without hormonal add back therapy and based on this study, they have submitted the application for approval and which is one of the big catalysts here. So if they get approved, they will be moving on to their product roadmap for the launch and marketing for Q4 2021 and to make sure that the product is market ready. The stock is trading at $4.01 as you can see and then there is a huge spike in their volume. The, the stock was trading, OBSV was trading around between one and two dollars um, and their volume was well below a million that spiked up on january 8th which is when a lot of people started looking into the stock and the stock was trading at two dollars and three cents with the volume of one million on G january 11 the stock volume was 1.6 million and it spiked up to two dollars and ten cents january 14th which is when i started noticing the stock volume was 16 million which is a big jump from 1.5 million to 16 million so almost 10x jump which is when the stock hit two dollars and fifty cents and i started noticing the recommendations from the analysts i started noticing the investor groups are buying so this all happened in last couple of days which is kind of a uh, which is kind of uh, which makes me think that the stock got traction and right now at at the moment within two hours of trading the stock volume is 52 million and the stock traded well about four dollars four dollars and 25 cents is the highest price that the stock traded today. The stock doubled in last couple of days and based on the analyst's recommendations, based on the product roadmap, the biggest catalyst is to get the approval, start the marketing in EU and United States region. If the product can hit that, it can easily double or triple the stock in 2021. At the same time, it's a big catalyst. If it doesn't happen, the stock can go to zero. That's the risk and reward part of the penny stock. I would rec highly recommend do your own due diligence. I'm not a financial advisor at the same time one thing also once again i want to point out that the cash on hand for the company is 50.6 million dollars they are burning a lot more cash every quarter so they may announce direct offering in my personal opinion what i'm going to do is i'm going to start opening a position in obsv and buy a small percentage of my portfolio it will be a long-term investment for me and i'll see how the company is doing if they are market ready in 2021 it can easily double or triple the investment that i will be making once again i hope you like this video click the like button subscribe to my channel for future videos and share this video with your friends and family thanks all and i hope this is a helpful video